It's the personal emergency device from Valert or V Alert. It's a Spike Studio product review of V Alert, the personal emergency alert device using your Bluetooth technology to your mobile device. Welcome everybody, a Spike Studio product review. This time we're looking at another Bluetooth type, almost tracking device for your smartphone. This is from V Alert minus the E. It's a personal emergency device. So it's the ones we did before, trackers that would actually let you find your phone or find your keys or either way. This one is made more for emergency. It does other features and functions. So let's talk first about specs to run this. Uh, it's very specific. It is for iOS and for Android. However, very specific devices that you need to be aware of. Uh, it will not work with your iPad. You can load the app on your iPad, but uh, the tracking services that are there just don't work without phone service. So you need iOS 7 or greater. You need an iPhone 4S or greater to make it work. For Android, they give you a recommendation. Let me read it for you because I don't want to screw this up. The Galaxy 5, uh, I'm sorry, Galaxy 5. Yeah, the Galaxy S4 or higher, HTC One or other Android 4.3. Well, I can tell you now, this Android doesn't work. You know, your tablets won't work because they don't have phone service. I was able to sideload it on a BlackBerry as Android. It's very specific. The reason being is, one, it takes a specific version of Android. Also, it needs Bluetooth 4.0 or higher, which not every device supports. So once you get inside the box, uh, this box is pretty lightweight, actually, pretty small. And we always do an unboxing here. You get the device, get an instruction book, and then the wristbands. Now. There's a couple different ways you can wear this, they say. One is uh, on a pendant, and we'll talk about the device. It doesn't come with the necklace part, but it comes with the hook for it. And then this super thick, giant neoprene band that they included in here, and then a quick start guide. This is all you get, quick start guide. Uh, it walks you through setting it up. So we're gonna take this V Alert thing off, and I can warn you, it's not stuck to the, it's not tied down. It uses that super sticky little gel button. I just didn't wanna break it the first time I pulled it off. I actually had a little trouble getting it out of here and didn't want to break it, so I stopped the recording and came back in. But as you can see, there's no no way to tie it down. Just so, don't be afraid to pull a little bit. It's this sticky stuff. All right, the device itself, one side has their logo on it, which you can see at an angle a little bit there, there you go. And the other side is their lovely disc part that shows the status as well as the alert stuff. Uh, setting up's pretty straightforward. I've got a couple screenshots here for you that we're gonna show as we go through. The first one being is when you launch the app, it's gonna say, set up my device for the first time. So as you can see, it's got the screen up, it says set up my device, we actually launch it, and there's no devices found yet. So you click the set up my device button. Once you're past that, it's gonna ask for some personal info. Well, I'm gonna tell you now, I don't know why at first they needed your mobile number unless they're sending as your mobile number. So I don't know what it asked for when it did that. Uh, you need to enter that information in the personal information. Then you'll go in and actually add contacts. Now, I wanna talk about this screen a little bit. As you can see over here on the side, it has the plus buttons to add contacts. This will look in your address book of your device. You cannot add anybody that does not have a phone number associated with them. Meaning if they just have an email address, you can't add them. This will send text messages. The idea is to alert people based upon this we're gonna talk about function via text messages. So it must have a phone number associated with it. You also cannot manually add anybody into these. You have to use somebody from your address book. So you have to go back. I would like to add maybe people to the app that I don't want in my address book. Or maybe I want people that are my address. You have to have them in there both ways. So keep that in mind. You can add multiple contacts up to three as you see on the screen. Something else you should notice on the screens that we just showed. There is no help buttons anywhere on these screens. The only help was this little quick guide of course online, but there's no help buttons on the screens. We found something out later on. So once you get past putting in all your personal information, you're gonna get a screen that asks you to set up a standard alert message. This is what will go to the contacts in case of emergency. I typed in, I need help for my V Alert device because there's a test involved. Note, once you get to the point that you complete setup, it's gonna actually ask you, one other thing is do you wanna send a test? So it'll warn the people first before you do it, it wants to send a test. You can set different notifications on these for the alerts and the sounds, as you can see, uh, you can silent them also. So it's almost like a silent trigger alarm to send an alert so you could be wearing it and set off a, a silent trigger. That's in there as well. So syncing it. As you can see, the screen shows that we need to actually pair the device. So it tells you to hold it down for like 10 seconds, which we'll do to, so it puts it in this green mode, kind of shows on the screen. It'll show up on here. It'll say a device that was found you'll actually put it on there. Now, what it will ask you is, do you wanna actually give 
this device a name, which is nice. You can actually name your devices. So I went in and named it I do V alert. So we'll actually go ahead and do that. It doesn't like you to leave the name that's there by default, by the way. So once it's connected, you are now set. You'll come back to the welcome screen once it's done and you can see my devices and my settings. Pretty straightforward from there. If you go into my device, what you'll get is a screen that has like find your V alert, which we'll do. And I want to talk about what it does. It's actually going to find this for you before we get into them. So it's now, why don't you listen how quiet this is? I'm, it's still going off. I'm going to sit on it. Hold on. So if this is in a backpack or a purse or something, you're never going to find this thing. I'm just telling you, they didn't make this thing very loud at all. You'll never actually find this thing if that's where it is. Uh, you can also rename it inside the settings. You can do some uh, fall detection, which is interesting. What they do has of a screen that will <laughs> allow you, if you fall down, to please set off the alert. It gives you like 10 seconds or something to disarm the alert just in case you fall down. Um, I'll tell you right now, I'm going to fall no matter what. So I'm not going to turn this on. I have a feeling as soon as I turn this on, I would fall and it would notify people. So I'm not going to do it. Even in the instruction guide, they even give you the ability to show you that you can test the falling by throwing it on the ground right there. Say so throw it on the ground. Now what's inside of this thing? Inside of this is actually a uh, CR2032 watch battery. So you should get about 4,000 hours of life, they're saying, out of here. Uh, comparable, this one, this is the Misfit Shine. It's a health tracker. It uses the same battery inside of it. And it depends on how much you use it and how much you click on it. Now, what's the good and the bad about this thing so far? Um, I can tell you the first thing I didn't like was the actual setup itself of the had no help file available to it. If you look at the screen, there's help here after I get it set up. You had no choice but to walk through their entire setup screens without any help files before you could get to the screen that then had the help files. I wish they would have put that somewhere sooner. It would have made much more sense. Some of the help files link to the web. It goes to FAQs. It has a bunch of information, instructional videos even. I don't know why that wasn't available sooner on this. Uh, hopefully they can put that into the app a little bit sooner. It doesn't make any sense to me of why they would put it uh, so late inside of here. So what about putting this thing on? Let me tell you right now, it comes with that big neoprene band because it's pretty thick. I mean, the device itself is pretty thick compared to something like the Misfit Shine. So when you snap it in, pretty big, pretty thick, pretty heavy in terms of weight for your wrist. You must have your phone with you for this to work. Otherwise, you're out of range, which would then trigger one of their other features that would be like put this on a kid and once they leave range of your phone, it sets it off. That's a cool thing. I mean, you put this on the kid's wrist. If they pedal away too far, or something like that, it sets your phone off, lets you know they've left the range. So it's going to be in Bluetooth range. 30 feet, 75 feet outdoors, they say more. I don't ever believe that. I think it's more like 100, but they could say 300. Uh, it doesn't do anything else on the interface, which I wish they would do something else. You've got all this screen real estate. I mean, even the Misfit Shine, which will light up, does the health tracking, and then it shows you a watch. I mean, they've got a ton of real estate on here to do things with. All this is emergency device. It is waterproof, as I said, up to a meter of water for 30 minutes, I believe it is, which is great. So you can run in the rain, you can do all that. Uh, but the weight itself is kind of bulky. I don't know if I would wear it as a pendant either, banging around on your chest all day, just compared to the weight on the wrist. Maybe they could make it a little bit thinner later on. So what do we think overall? Uh, overall, decent product. Worked well, uh, setup was easy uh, besides the help files that were missing that along the way, I really wish they would fix that and put the help file sooner. Uh, it worked in terms of functioning, setting off the alarms and setting off the alerts. That wasn't a problem. Uh, the fall did work because we tested it once, but we don't want to leave it on because I know I'll be wearing this later and the darn thing will fall. I wish this thing would go back the other way and actually uh, be able to track my phone so I could click this and track the phone. But remember, once you set this off in one way or the other in panic mode or if it leads the range, it's going to send text messages to your contacts. So keep that in mind. Every time you're playing around and testing this thing, they will get a text message. Let them know. Um, otherwise, guys, if you really need something else, there's other Bluetooth tracker devices out there that help you find your keys as well as find the device. They don't do the emergency paging, but what I'm going to see eventually is a convergence of all these things together. Like one of these will do just about everything you want it to do. So it's another product review from Spike Studio. Please subscribe to the playlist above to see all our product reviews. And if there's something you want us to get on the show, let us know. But jump through, click yes, that our reviews are helpful on Amazon or the like or dislike button on here on YouTube. Either way, thanks again for watching.